into my job description was thrown the title of special projects, which meant absolutely nothing. But it turned out to mean a great deal because the word had come down that Gene Roddenberry had finally agreed to do another Star Trek series. Uh, they had been trying for years to get Roddenberry to do another series because it was now 1985, uh, 80, maybe it was 86 at this point. Uh, the original Star Trek series had ended in 1969, so it was nearly 20 years later. And the, the general opinion was that Roddenberry was a cranky old bastard and nobody wanted to have anything to do with him. And since I was like the lowest ranked vice president in the group, it was like, let him, let him do it. So I went to the first meeting and there was some contention because the studio wanted a two-hour pilot. Roddenberry only wanted to do a one-hour pilot. And during the course of this meeting, both Gene and his trusted lawyer and companion, a guy named Leonard Mazlish, uh, they spent a lot of time sort of glancing around the room. And whenever they glanced at me, I kind of, if, if, if one of my colleagues was being a little bit overly grumpy or a little bit overly uh, definitive in what they wanted, I would sort of raise an eyebrow a little bit. And it was wise eyebrows because the next day I got a call from Mazlish who said that Gene wanted to have uh, lunch with me. So we went to the commissary and we had lunch and we didn't talk about Star Trek at all. And he kind of found, uh, he kind of found it pleasant that I knew nothing about Star Trek because I really had never seen a Star Trek movie and I had never watched Star Trek when it was on television. And the next day I got a call from Mazelish saying, I'd like to have lunch with you today. Two, two free lunches in a row. So, uh, I went to the commissary and Leonard said, Gene and I would like you to quit your job and come work for us. Which was a, a, a strange proposition. It was certainly, it was a, came out of left field. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, it was much more in the vein of what I wanted to do. Uh, I, I, I had been a, a studio executive now, if you count Warner Brothers and Paramount for about a year and a half, and I really didn't enjoy it. And I had been a producer for 15 years prior to that. So from that point of view, it was a great, it was a great offer. But from another point of view, it was a project that had both hands tied behind its back. Um, it was science fiction, and virtually no science fiction was working on television at that point. It was a sequel. Sequels weren't working at that point. And it was going to be syndicated. It was not going to be on a network. And that had not really been done before successfully. But I still wanted to get out of the executive business. So I, I went home and I spoke to my wife. And, uh, and the next morning, I didn't think I was going to be able to get out of my deal. But it turned out that the studio people who I was working for, I think, looked at it as, oh, this is great. We'll have somebody on the inside. And uh, they had no problem uh, letting me go. And I then joined the staff of what was going to become Star Trek The Next Generation. Um, uh, there were two fellows who were producers under Gene, one named Bob Justman, who stayed for the first year, and one named Eddie Milkus, who had a, some kind of an argument, disagreement maybe it would be a better word, with Roddenberry and had left just about the time that I, I came aboard. I've often asked myself what, what it was that Gene saw in me. I think the fact that we had both traveled so much. Gene was a, uh, an airline pilot. He was a, uh, a Pan Am, I believe it was Pan Am or TWA pilot, and he had traveled all over the world. Uh, he had been to a lot of places that I had been to. Uh, I think he was attracted to 
the fact that I didn't know anything about Star Trek mm -hmm. and that I was much younger than the two guys he had who were producing the show with him. I think he wanted a, a, a younger ear, a younger voice uh, in the mix. And Mazelish also took a liking to me, and fun. I don't know why, but uh, I got along with both of the both of these guys very, very well.